believe it. You know, it seems like just yesterday you moved in, and here you are moving out to get married. Yeah. Well, someday it's going to happen for you, Brenda. You meet a wonderful guy, fall in love, decide to get married, and be just as nauseous as I am right now. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's Joe for the trunk. Listen, can you... I got it. Thank you. Hi, Joe. Hi, honey. Hiya, Bren. Hello, Joe. Mm, I'm going to miss that around here, too. <laughs> the lingering scent of aqua velva. <laughs> it's ready, huh? Yeah, yeah, already, Joe. Listen, why don't I get Carlton to give you a hand? The doorman? Yeah. No, he's really loaded here. What do you mean, really? He just blew his whistle to hail me an elevator. <laughs> Hello? Uh, this is Carlton, your doorman. Uh, from your lobby, you know? <laughs> Good, Carlton. You know where you are. What is it? There's a strange woman on her way up. Strange woman? Why didn't you find out who it is? I know who it is. It's your mother. <laughs> Thanks. You know, it might be my imagination, but I think I'm starting to smell scotch coming through this. <laughs> hey, what's Ma doing here? She's probably coming to reopen negotiations. There's nothing to negotiate. We decided to get married quietly in the judge's chambers, and that's it. Right, Joe? Hey, it's up to you. I'm staying out of it. <sighs> I'm still getting over my first wedding. Bad, huh? Well, I knew I was in trouble when the minister said you may kiss the bride, and she said, don't smear my makeup. <laughs> Hi, Ma. Hi, Rhoda. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Ma. Hi there, son-in-law. <laughs> Hi, Ida. Tell me, Joe, you nervous about Sunday? Well, you know, some men on their wedding morning wake up with crazy thoughts in their head like, uh, should I go through with this? Let me reassure you, you should. <laughs> it's really going to be fun having you for a mother-in-law, Ida. Why don't you ever talk to me like that? Ma, when did I ever give you the impression that I didn't think you were fun? <laughs> okay, Ida, let me get this funk out of here. Joe. Lift with the legs. Don't strain yourself before the wedding. <laughs> I'll see you later, Rhoda. Careful. Yeah, bye, Joe. Bro, I'm going to clean some of your stuff out of the bathroom for you. Oh, thanks, Brenda. That's great. Oh, Rhoda. Rhoda. What? To think that in two days, my firstborn will be married. Yeah. Where are you getting married again? I keep forgetting. <laughs> We have been around on this a dozen times now. Now, just accept the fact that I am not having a big wedding. I mean, you save us both a lot of trouble if you just let me do this my own way, huh? You think this is for me? For me? Well, forget me. I'm not important. But what about your father? Think of his feelings. I know it doesn't matter to Pop. Doesn't matter to Pop. <laughs> well, let me tell you, little lady, that just the other day I heard that poor man say to your Aunt Rose, if Rhoda doesn't have a big wedding, there will be no living with Ida. <laughs> Brenda, did you hear this? Do you believe this person? I'm going to be married in 48 hours, and she is still trying to change my wedding plan. <laughs> I'm not trying to do anything. The situation here is that I've already done something. <laughs> if nobody asks, what? I still have a chance. <laughs> well, I certainly hope that nobody asks what, because what I've done would be very hard to tell you. <laughs> because it's huge. <laughs> and only a mother would understand why I have done this. <laughs> what? Done what? What? <laughs> Sorry. Well, since you've asked... <laughs> Without actually clearing it with you, Rhoda, I have asked some people up to the apartment for a get-together on Sunday. Oh, before or after the wedding, Ma? During. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, a, let me get this, please. You have actually planned a wedding for me at your apartment, knowing that I don't want a big ceremony? What do you consider big? Anything over 12 people. I may have overstepped. <laughs> How many, Ma? Not counting musicians, 79. <laughs> Overstepped. You are awe-inspiring. Yeah. You know, 
in a crazy kind of way, she may be a great woman. <laughs> you can't do this, Ma. You really can't. Yeah, you're not going to force me into this. I mean, you, you can do a lot, but this you can't do. No way. You have I'm really overstepped you yourself. Understand? Ma, I'm going to have my marriage the way I want to have it, the way I planned it originally, no matter what. Because this time, it isn't just another day in my life. It's my wedding day, and that's it. So, what's your decision? <laughs> she's gonna get you. How? Ma, I'm getting married the way I planned. Okay, Rhoda, you do what you have to do. I'll, I'll make the best of it. She's gonna get you. Of course, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those 79 people on the folding chairs facing the mantel. Not to mention Grandmother Morgenstern, who, when I called her at the home... <laughs> Invite her to your wedding said that she never thought that she'd live to see you get married. I just hope the disappointment doesn't... She got you. Yeah. Okay, Ma, okay. You win, you're still the champ. If it's all right with Joe, we will get married at your place. Whatever you want. I know the Minneapolis airport was fogged in. I was there from 7 o'clock last night until 5 this oh, morning. No. I must look awful. Yeah, you really do, kid. <laughs> I hate to gloat, ma'am, but uh, for the first time in my life, I think I look better than you do. <laughs> oh, Rhoda, I've really missed you. Oh, you've missed me. Mm. I've lost my only link to classy. Ah. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Thank I you. really, Mary. Oh, boy. Mary, this is weird, but... I think I see a man waving this way that looks just like Lou Grant. Oh, Mary! Mary! Oh, I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Sorry we're late, Rhoda. We wanted to freshen up a little. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you, Rhoda. Oh, Mary Lou. Uh, oh. <laughs> What a hug. <laughs> that is no longer a hug. You are now holding him up. What are you guys doing here? Well, they drove me to the airport, and we sat around talking about you and the wedding. Yeah, they gave us free liquor. We toasted you a few times, and a few more times. <laughs> and then Mr. Grant said everybody should do at least one dumb, crazy thing in his mm -hmm. lifetime, and this one agreed. And, and here just... we are. <laughs> 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 Hey, it's crazy, isn't it? And I'm not a guy that does crazy things, right? Yeah. Oh, but I'm so glad you did it. Yeah. Because now three of my favorite people in the world are here for my wedding. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> well, three out of four ain't bad. <laughs> Oh. Nonsense, I reserved the car. I'll drive you. Oh. That way, I can point out various landmarks of historical interest. <laughs> Great, Phyllis, you were going to show me New York? Actually, I was thinking of Mary. You can sit in the back with Lou and Murray and talk about sports. <laughs> I just remembered, Lou. We don't have any luggage. I do. Mary must have a suitcase. Where's your stuff, Mary? Yes, it's white. Mr. Grant has my initials on it. Uh, yeah. No, wait, no, I didn't bring that one because the handle was broken. Uh, I'll find it now that you've narrowed it down for me. <laughs> I'm looking for a suitcase with your initials not on it. I have several pieces, all brown. Brought everything in paper bags, huh? <laughs> Hey, you want me to get them for you, Phyllis? Oh, Mary, I can't refuse you anything. <laughs> yeah, I'll be okay as long as I don't look at that part that goes round and round.